All right, welcome back. It is uh, early September 1862. Um, we'll slot off in Virginia. Not really too much happened, and I'm going to try to attack this uh, partisan unit in Cold Pepper. Otherwise, it's pretty much a stalemate. Um, looks like General Meade um, has arrived, so some of the better Union generals are starting, um, starting to appear. One thing that's probably the most interesting is that there is looks like four divisions um, preparing in Kent. I don't see a navy here though, so they aren't quite ready to leave yet. Um, the Union dropped off this cavalry force here in Surrey, um, so um, yeah, it's so I'm gonna kind of like sit and see where it, where it goes. Um, and um, or I could send Stuart after them, but Stuart's going after this. No, let's do that. Yeah. If we send Stuart after, let's see if it'll arrive in time. Okay, that's 19 days. 13. Okay. And then everything else will hold. Okay. Um, Yeah, but basically, so I think the only thing that's really happening in Virginia is that these four divisions are kind of unknown where they're going, but they're, there's no Navy there. It's not going to go anywhere yet. Um, out in Kentucky, we're going to try to destroy another railroad and head back to Clarksburg. Otherwise, it's pretty much sitting tight. I don't really understand what Lawless's Corps is doing. They don't have any supply, so they are resupplied, but um, the divisions are not full divisions, um, so... And they're I guess, possibly working their way just down the west side of the Mississippi with no supply. I don't see how that's sustainable. Um, we'll head back to Memphis to uh, fix our, our Navy here. Um, out in Kentucky, not, not Kentucky, Kansas, um, I'm basically having everyone going to um, center in on Lawrence, including Shelby. One thing I realized actually with Shelby is. Um, there's not, there's not any ammo, really. So even though they're supplied, we need to go back and get ammo um, to re get, get enough ammo to head west. So we're going to do that. I uh, don't really think Sheridan would move. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm going to try to destroy uh, Fort Wayne. Um, Yep, and then um, down here in New Mexico, we're moving up toward Taos. Um, we'll arrive in 11 days. So that's pretty much the turn. Uh, we are, as you can see, basically getting a few ironclads like, cleared out our war supply, and then um, and then brigades and a few a few replacements. All right, let's run the turn and see what happens. Um, okay, pretty interesting turn. Um, <clears throat> Hooker arrived in Fort Macon with his four divisions. I'll show you that in a second. Um, out in out in Virginia, it looks like we finally were able to defeat that partisan unit. And oh, here it is. So Stewart missed the, the cavalry force. It's now down here, so we'll have to we'll chase it down. Uh, Chase it down next time. Um, yes, yeah, so we don't know how how big the force is. Otherwise, pretty quiet. Um, I did see that we bombarded the uh, the fleet here, and we had laid a couple. We had tried to put out a submarine and laid a mine. Um, so let's we'll see if that actually hit. Okay, so the first. This is actually the first. Um, Actually, it's three divisions. This is the the first um, actual battle where um, the unions used their navy to assault. Really, I, well, I mean Williamsburg, but this is the first one that's really actually you know far away uh, from Virginia. So um, I'll have to think about what to do. It might be going down and defending against the river here. 
Finn and Goldsburg or actually going in with Finn and Newburn uh, would be our would be our options. Um, out west, uh, yeah, Wallace is still there. Um, and now we have Pope's Corps, another three divisions, has moved in um, across from Paducah. Now that puts us in a little bit of a tricky situation because we only have one division here in Paducah, and it is um, connected to a corps in Fort Henry. So we might swap those out and bring the corps up to Columbus um, and leave the division at, at Fort Henry. Uh, but I'll have to think about that. Didn't really see anything happening in Kentucky. Um, we did not destroy the railroad out in um, yeah. So here we go. Did not destroy the railroad again out in um, Missouri. Sheridan has been resupplied, and you can see here is our all of our forces. Um, yeah, so we can get a, get enough ammo, get our ammo going again. Um, there's not actually we've got enough supply in these forts, but there's really not a lot of ammo. Uh, there's some there in, in Fort uh, Fort Baxter. We're still trying to destroy Fort Wayne. Um, as it requires 15 days. So probably the most interesting thing is um, the division moved, oh wow, only a militia unit in Springfield. So you may want to think about sending Shelby on a raid, but um, there's a depot there, so they built a depot. So what we see here is that um, Rant is now, um, He's now moved into uh, just north of Fayetteville, and um, we're pretty organized. We don't have as many forces um, as I'd like. Um, so what I may actually do is restructure these and leave them as uh, two full divisions with artillery support, and then use a the weakest general as a division in reserve um, in Fayetteville in the town, and then if, um, if we win the first battle, hopefully, <laughs> if we win the first turn of battle, they can swap in uh, the new regiments. So that's one option. Um, otherwise, I think with our power of trouble 11, we'd probably be able to hold, it off, hold them off anyways. The entrenchment level is five. Um, all right, finally out west. Um, Let's see what supply we have here. Um, oh wow, that's a so Carson has a full division there, but we don't know how we don't know how strong it is. Um, so interesting. I wish we had some better intelligence on, on what is here. Um, otherwise, I might be able to. Uh, move forward to Talos. Of course, we don't really have a lot, full, full lot of supply. We have enough for three turns. Well, we have enough for about three battles. That's not bad. Um, so I have to think about, uh, think about that. Otherwise, didn't really see any movement. Union still um, pretty much just sitting tight. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the messages. And then you'll see the battle where Hooker won. So. We, um, some of our ships were damaged by a sea mine. Two of them, actually. Um, our submarine attempt was unsuccessful. So I made a mistake there. Uh, these guys actually didn't have enough supply. Oops, okay. We bombarded the fleet.
Okay, so most of the movement. Uh, here's the small battle in Charlottesville where we defeated the partisan unit. And here's what you can see in Fort Macon. So 22,000 men, 5,000 cavalry, and 129 cannon. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so since it's not active, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, meet up with the um, Plymouth Squadron and send them back to Wilmington. So Lincoln is preparing emancipation of all slaves on Confederate soil. And um, yeah, we have this cavalry regiment that's raised to re meet this cavalry force here. Um, we also have Stuart, so Stuart can attack on that force. So there we go, pretty quiet turn. Um, other than taking the Fort Macon, not a whole, uh, not a whole lot uh, happening. Um, yeah, so I'll think about what to do. I think the two big decisions are how to restructure the defense here, since we're now facing uh, six divisions and probably what to do about North Carolina. Um, otherwise, we're doing a pretty good disrupting transport with this for line here. Um, there's one that's one line that's um, destroyed in Missouri. Uh, and we didn't, we weren't able, oh, we were. We still have this one destroyed here. So transport is at least slightly disrupted for the union. Okay, see you next time.